So Tom and I met in a church, a small church in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, we dated all through high school and then we married his sophomore year. That was in 1963, 60 years ago in April. Both of us have always been taught in our faith journey uh, that you use your religion uh, in terms of how you react to social injustice issues. We believe that God's call to humanity includes advocating for mercy and justice. And in addition, our pastors have always uh, taught us that we should mix religion and politics because our faith should inform us in regard to social issues. They really are just incredible leaders by simply doing what they do, being who they are, loving people in the way that they love people, which is deeply connected for them to doing justice. Well, in the mid-1990s, uh, we started hearing about the religious right imposing their extreme right agenda on public schools. Cecile Richards had started Texas Freedom Network in 1995, and we got involved and started supporting TFN at that time. Organizations like TFN give me... Hope. Yeah, hope and the tools to stay plugged in. Sometimes I go, uh, you know, we've been doing this for 60 plus years. Uh, when, when are we gonna slow down a little bit and uh, maybe kind of act like we're retired? When are we gonna stop some of this? He goes, when we die. <laughs> I personally wanna stay involved so that I can pass the torch. But to pass the torch, you have to be an example. And so I continue to want to be example about I'm never too old to be in the fight. Because of our own journey, uh, we felt called to be personally involved in the process of First United Methodist Church Austin becoming a reproductive freedom congregation. Tom and Robbie continually brought it back to me and said, this is happening, this is a new thing, we should look at doing this. Um, and she began to do the work of organizing and to bring um, her own story and experience and why this is important and why it needs to be connected to the church. 50 years ago, ministers at our church prayed and counseled with Tom and me as we were wrestling the decision to terminate an unexpected pregnancy due to his vasectomy failing. I was emotionally and physically drained as well as frightened, worrying about nurturing and caring for the four children we had. Tom and I also shared our personal story to several groups and classes, and invariably, each time we shared our story, women would come up to me after the class and share their personal story, which led to meaningful conversations. There's so many women in the United States that have had the experience of making what was the best choice for them at that time, and yet They're they feel them. shame and stigmatized and blamed where they've told hardly anyone. Uh, there's a verse, a song we sang recently at our church that I think reflects why we must lead this fight. And it is. The angels cannot change a world of hurt and pain to a world of love, justice, and peace. The task is ours. That task is our call as people of faith.